Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy TrueDBZ back with another video and welcome to the final part of my top 5 celebration week series where I go through multiple top 5 lists discussing the content that I have done all course of the year, that being 2023. Today's final list will be my top 5 videos that I have done for the channel. This will cover tons of different content and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's just jump right on to the list. Alright, my honorable mention goes to my Dragon Ball Fighters 1.33 Upgraded Krillin Combos video. My most successful video of this year with almost 2k views and 75 likes. When I started playing more games than just Dragon Ball and doing less guides overall because of the burnout I was going through, I'm not gonna lie, my statistics really started to drop off, like a lot, like you wouldn't believe the drop off. And I felt like doing guides at that point was kind of pointless because at this point Dragon Ball Fighters is really easy and most of my rejumps are outdated at this point. But nevertheless, I created the 1.33 Krillin combo guide and it broke tons of records like it's it was my most viewed video of that month and it was just amazing to see the growth that that video made and pretty much since then it's been my most viewed video every single month like no matter what I released after that video that one was consistently my most viewed video and I just gotta say thank you guys for watching that video um, I know I haven't been doing a lot of guides in the later half of this year so it really made me happy to see the success of that video in particular because like I said the game keeps getting easier and lots of my rejumps have been outdated now so I'm just glad that you guys actually went out of your way to watch that video a ton and I still get comments on that video to this day thanking me for doing the Krillin guide so yeah I, I just gotta say thank you guys for that one in particular because even though it's an honorable mention I, I still find it very heartwarming that that video did so well when I pretty much stopped doing guides altogether. Number 5 is going to be my Dragon Ball Fighters Limit Break Rewards Losing video. A really long rant about the dumbest comeback mechanics in Dragon Ball Fighters, or hell, even in any fighting game I've ever seen. Limit Break is the worst mechanic in Dragon Ball Fighters right now. And if you add sparking on top of it, it literally turns every single character into a one-touch, untouchable, annoying little fly. Now to be fair, the video is way too goddamn long. Like I would basically cut it in half if I could, but I had to take a really long time to express how much I hated this mechanic. And honestly, rollback is not going to solve that issue, so... When rollback comes out for Dragon Ball Fighters, yeah, that's something I'm just going to have to deal with. And I'm going to be real, I'm not looking forward to it. Number 4 goes to my Budokai Tenkaichi 4 predictions and wish list video. And now that we are past that video, we do know that the game that's coming out is called Sparking Zero, not Tenkaichi 4. So I'm just going to keep calling it Sparking Zero because that's what the name is. Sparking Zero is actually a reference to the Japanese version of the Tenkaichi series as that series was called Sparking and I guess they just wanted to keep that name consistent going forward. The goal of the video is to set expectations for the brand new Dragon Ball title while branching out to other Dragon Ball games as a reference for stuff that I wish to see in this brand new game. The video itself is most definitely way too long because I basically just named every single mechanic from Tenkaichi 3 and Raging Blast 2 to be put in Sparking Zero, which is A, unrealistic, and B, kind of fills the video with a lot more fluff than I liked. But I still had a fun time making the video, and it gave me a reason to play older Dragon Ball games to get footage and screenshots and all that good stuff. So, you know, I, I guess that that video was useful for more than what the intention was. Number 3 is the Everything is Mid video. This video is a cutout portion of my EVO 2023 stream where me, Pretty, Eldo, Aiko, and others came together to goof around and watch some fighting game madness. During the break in the Marvel vs Capcom 3 tournament, we started talking about the meaning of the word mid as a way to describe media nowadays and how the general public has basically ruined every single 
meaning of that word. So we just started naming different video game and anime titles with the word mid somewhere in it and the combinations we come up with still make me laugh to this day. Spending time with the homies never fails to put a smile on my face and make me laugh. Especially with all the dumb jokes we be making in voice chat. Number 2 goes to my Across the Spider-Verse review part 3. This 3 part series is me, Eldo, and Pretty reviewing the movie Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Part 1 and 2 is just like normal review stuff like talking about the story, the characters, and the visuals. That is definitely way too freaking long. Which is one of the reasons why I don't want to do another movie review. But part 3 is a special video where I kept majority of the bloopers. Most of it was me and Eldo messing up our lines. Unsurprisingly, Pretty pretty much did all of his sections in one or two tries. I swear that man has some kind of talent and I don't know how he does it. The video is full of messed up lines, countless laughing and goofball energy. Definitely a highlight of this year. And the number one spot goes to my Spider-Man 2 Stream Highlights Part 2. My whole Spider-Man 2 playthrough was a roller coaster of emotions. It went from excitement to invested to sad to hyper to sad again to screaming so hard that my microphone broke. Part 2 was definitely the best section in, in this entire playthrough. We had the Grand Lizard Chase, the symbiote taking over Peter's body, MJ's incredible shooting section, Miles vs. Mr. Negative, Craven vs. Symbiote Peter, Miles vs. Symbiote Peter, and a playable Venom section with a Craven boss fight at the end. Just from that description alone, I want to play the game again to experience it. If you haven't played the Insomniac Spider-Man games, please do so. You won't be disappointed. Or you could watch my playthrough and see me go freaking crazy. Alright then guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So when I upload this video, it will be the final day of this year. And so... As after this video, I guess I'll see you guys in the brand new year, 2024. So with that being said, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the brand new year. And uh, yeah, hopefully next year will be a banger just like this year. So I'll see you guys in the next year. Sayonara.